Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, in today's video, I'm going to open uh, some mail that I got in my personal mailbox, which, to be honest with you, I forgot was even there uh, because I don't check it that often because I don't really get mail there that often because most of the time when you guys send me happy mail or um, if I buy things from people or whatever, they just send it to my street address because most of, most of the people... Um, they, they have my street address. I forget about the fact that um, I have a personal mailbox, which is right here, personal mailbox, 245, um, 140 Fletcher Street, Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. Anyway, um, so my, um, I, my goal is to try to be a little bit more proactive with the whole checking of the mail. And the reason is, is I was recently, well, not recently, but I've been waiting for a journal. Um, and I thought that, you know, it was going to come to my street address because I thought that was the address that she had because I bought it. And for whatever reason, I decided to check my personal mailbox today, which I'm very glad I did because lo and behold, here's this package. I haven't even opened it yet that has been sitting in my mailbox since October. So, um, all of those comments that she made to me, like, you know, I'll give you a refund, I'll remake it, blah, blah, blah. And I kept telling her, no, it'll show up, it'll show up, it'll show up. Sure enough, it showed up in my personal mailbox. Had no idea that's where it was going. I was waiting for it to come to my house. So, that was on me. That was my fault. Uh, my bad, yo. Uh, this one is actually uh, probably a Christmas card because it's uh, from December. So this is how bad I am. This is, uh, oh, my bad. It's it's from Miss Christy. And look at this. I don't want to break that. I'm going to leave that exactly where it's at. And I'm just going to open this top up somehow. Um, yeah, I'm talented. Yeah. So... I know I'm behind. My bad. Oh my gosh, she made this. <gasps> I love the dots. Oh, I love that she signed it. KB 2019. Oh, that is so cool. Oh. Oh, that is so sweet. I love this. I know this is like super duper delayed because it's like a month late, but that's like I said, my fault, not yours. Um, but that is so sweet. And Thomas Alley, I said, thank you. Oh, that is so awesome. I love this. I'm keeping this. I need to um, recreate or re get into my friend mail journal because um, I have one of those and I just haven't messed with it in a long time. So this is the partial that came from Luis to my personal mailbox. Um, and most of it's going to be a surprise because I forgot everything that I bought. But there is one thing in here very specifically that I want to show you guys. The whole reason I turned the camera on um, is a journal. And by the way, I love this envelope. It's awesome sauce. This is a giant envelope. And it's got foreign stuff on it. Like this whole thing right here. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I don't know how I'm going to get it off. but And this whole air pavin thing. Or whatever that says. I'm pretty sure it's air mail in French. But yep, keeping that too. Because I'm ridiculous. I know. Um, and, oh, it's like Christmas. I like opening packages. I mean, who doesn't like Happy Mail? I mean, for real. I mean, it, I'm pretty sure the, the phrase was coined Happy Mail because it makes us happy. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why, um, when I first started doing YouTube, I would um, do like swaps, kind of like Missy does, right? 
Um, that's one of the reasons why I started doing that because I just like getting mail. Even if I don't get to keep it, I just like opening it. It's like, ooh, pretty. I used to actually open everyone's mail when I was a kid. Not a good idea. That's a federal offense. You can't do that. <laughs> but I did. I used to. I was a bad kid. Um, Alright, so that's loud and crinkly. So, this is the journal. Oh, that is so cool. I love this sticker. That's really cool. Handmade by Louise Frazier. Paper Whisper. Oh, that is cool. Paper Whisper Timekeeper Crafts. Oh, that is so cool. Please don't break. Oh, yay. <gasps> yay. Okay. Um. 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 <laughs> I know it's not going to stick or stay stuck to that, so I'm going to put it back on there. Uh, that way I can just peel it right back off again. Ooh, goody, goody. Oh. oh, it smells good. I know, I'm weird. Oh, she wrapped the thingy. Oh, how cute. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. I like dingles. All right, Louise Frazier. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. My bad. Okay, that's got stuff on there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna slide this off. That's really pretty. I like that. I'm not sure what that smell is. I think it's this, but I love it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Oh, and she pinky sheared it so it doesn't fray. How pretty. Y'all know these fabrics are awesome. I think this is her laundry soap. It's what it reminds me of, but it smells so good. Oh, my owl journal. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm so happy. There's the signature. It's a three hole. It's got blingies on this side. It's got different structures. Oh, I love this. It's like little, uh, she did something to make it pop up. That's super cool. Buttons. It's like I'm seeing it all over again. Oh, that is so cute. Dear recipient, this book selected by you or given to you was handcrafted with love and attention. When I create these books, my hope is that it will find the person it was meant for. That is so cute. Oh, it's, it's like a little to-do, like a uh, instructional letter. That is so cute. I love that. I've seen people do that and put them in, um, in their journals. I haven't done that yet, but it's a great idea. And I like how she, like, distressed it and she inked around the edges, which I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I am so... So, taking this idea, I'm going to change it a little bit, probably, and, um, you know, just create a letter for, that is really cool. I like this. And I like how she used pink on the inking. That's really cool. Because you don't see the colors a lot. You see a lot of, um, you know, vintage photo and, you know, the, the browns. I like the color. I like this. This is really nice. Oh, it's an envelope. You see a little tiny envelope? Oh, 
It's a fake envelope. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> it's like I've never seen it before. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I love the feel of this paper. I'm not sure what weight this is, but it's really nice. Oof, oof, oof. Let me scooch y'all up. There we go. Oh, and it's got a tab right here. I like how it's empty. Like, it doesn't have... Don't get me wrong, I like both. Um, I actually just recently purchased one. Um, I actually have to go watch the video for it because I have no idea what it looks like. I know what the cover looks like. And a couple select pictures that were posted on the Etsy. But I'm not sure what it actually looks like because I didn't watch it. I was, to be honest, in the middle of a live stream when I purchased it. <laughs> I like the, the, the little note pads that she's got, you know, peppered throughout. That's cute. I like that. Words to live by, happy thoughts. Typecast. I love Typecast. I love their paper. I bought so much of their paper when it went on clearance. Um, I don't know why it ever went on clearance, but it went on like 90% clearance and I bought so much of it. I love their paper. I don't know that I even still have any of it left because I used a lot of it. This is a pocket. Pocket. And the lace on the edge. That's really pretty. Ooh, oh, look at it. It's a little heart paper clip. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? Oh my god, did she make that? Sorry, I still have ink all in my hands. Don't mind me. That is so cute. I have no idea if she made that, but that is crazy. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. So I actually purchased this um, a while back. Uh, like I said, it didn't actually get lost in the mail. It was my fault. I didn't check my personal mailbox instead of my street mailbox. Um, but I purchased this back in September. And um, this is really cute. She made an envelope. Um, this is, pa oh, I see. She, okay, she made, it's an envelope, but she made it look like it's been like traveled through the, the post land. That's cute. I love this. And I like the different textures here. So she's got sticker, threading, lace piece, uh, cardstock, thread, uh, I said thread already. And then napkin over here. Like, I love the different textures on here. It's really cool. I like the dimensional things where it's got um, different textures and such on it. It's really neat. I, I do like that a lot. But, yeah, so I bought this back in September. And like I said, it was it was my bad because I didn't check all of my mailboxes. Like a ding-dong. Um, another writing space. And... I bought this that is really cute. I like that a lot. I might have to borrow this idea, Miss Louise, if you're watching this. So she put an eyelet inside the tab and then put a charm, just a single charm, nothing like crazy dangles, nothing like that, but just a single charm on that tab. Well. You know what? I wonder if you, if like, how it would be if you put a crazy dangled charm there. I love that it's an owl, though. I love me some owls. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but I have an owl on my arm. Right there. 
right there. He's kind of big though. He like goes that way. Anyway, I love me some owls. I gotta flip here. Oh, this is the middle. Be who you are. Oh, that is so awesome. I always need a reminder of that because I am always so very critical of myself. I like how she put the little things on the strings. That's cute. Oh, it's a little flippy do. Oh, and it folds out even more. Look at that. That's cute. I like that. Oh, the little collage. Does this come out? Oh, it does. Oh, it's a paper clip. I felt by the tension. I was like, that's a paper clip. That's cool. Oh, I lost one. Where do you go? Um, I think you go right there. I'm going to put a dab of glue and another dab of glue because another one just fell off. Oi. But that's the thing with plastic. you got to be super careful with plastic because plastic doesn't like a lot of glues. Plastic is very temperamental. And it's like, I will not stay. You cannot make me. I can. You watch me. Something that's really great for plastic is like glossy accents or um, E6000. Oh, it's a card. And it's got writing space. Hot dog. That is so awesome. I love these little paper clips, though. They're, they're so cool. I need to make more of them. Um, if I could get you to work, you'd be great. There we go. Nope, I lied. Psych! Alright, let's get you on the page first. There we go. And now we'll put you underneath it. <laughs> How about that? I win. Ha, the paper clip did not beat me. No. <laughs> I like how she's added dangles throughout. That's really cool. Like little charms. It's very cute. I like that. A little to do. Now, I wonder if she twisted up all of these paper clips. I think she did, which is really neat. I like that. Makes it a little bit different. Oh, that is a super tiny tag, a tab. I like that. There's another one of the twisted paper clips. Project Life card with some. Can you see it? Um, maybe. There's a little bit of the lines you can probably see. I love how much writing space there is in here. Like, this is a journal I'm going to use for sure. Because some journals I buy to use and some journals I buy to look at. Um, to, like, put on my display. But, yeah, definitely going to use this one. It says, fabquote.co. In, in life you will realize there is a role for everyone you meet. Some will test you. Some will use you. Some will love you, and some will teach you. But the ones who are truly important are the ones who bring out the best in you. They are the rare and amazing people who remind you why it's worth it. Unknown. That is really sweet. I like that. Oh, some more typecast. Told you, I like typecast. I knew exactly what this was. Yep. Typecast. Oh, I forgot to tell my kids that I was recording. Because I haven't recorded in a long time. So, <coughs> they're used to me doing the lives. But not so much recording, per se. Um, I mean, they're not being loud. They're just, you know, they're being kids. They're playing around in the living room, I think. Uh, it's nighttime here. It's like 6.30 at night. But you guys will see this tomorrow morning um, before I go live. Um, I love this. So it is... That is so cute. I love this. 
This is awesome. And I love how, how like, it's, it's so easy to hold. I love, love, love this. Did I, did I mention how much I love this? Oh, there goes one of my kids barking. She should know. Mommy's recording. Um, and I don't know if there's, like, a pause button or what on this thing because I don't know how to work this I have no idea how to work any of this um, all I know is I know how to start recording and I know how to stop recording that's it I do not know how to do any kind of um, editing or anything like that maybe I'll figure it out eventually it's OBS so if you guys know if there's like editing inside of OBS let me know oh my god <gasps> Oh no, I know what these are. I remember these. Oh, these are so cool. These are Beatrix Potter books. <gasps> they are. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I love Beatrix Potter. I want to try to get some that, and find some just so I can take them apart because I really don't, I don't want to take these apart because I have a few of them actually. Um, I have a few of the ones that are small like this. And then I also have like the larger collections. I, right now, as it sits right now, I don't take these apart. Um, maybe one day, but I still have a little and we still like to read these. So um, I've got a tale of Flopsy Bunnies. And these are just adorable. And yes, for you people um, who don't um, necessarily do journals, books are a wonderful, wonderful resource into um, making embellishments and different types of things that you can use for your journals. Like I said, I won't be taking these apart. These are for my collection, my, my home collection. Uh, not my Journey of Crafting collection. This one is Tale of Timmy Tiptoes. But these images are just so cute. And they're like that throughout all of the stories. It's not just the little tiny books. It's all of the stories. We just happen to like the stories. So, The Tale of Two Bad Mice. Uh-oh. Being naughty. Oh, one of my kids is whining at me. Uh, the Tale of Jemima? Puddle Duck, Jemima, and of course, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. I don't get into mischief. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Okay, and so the last little package here. I swear this is like Christmas because I forgot everything that I bought. Oh, this is, oh, I see stamps. Oh, that is, that is funny. I actually just recently bought some stamps. Um, that is so cool. Oh, these are a gift. Oh my God, you are so amazing. I love stamps. I can use them in so many things. I'll have, to, I'll have to do a video and show you guys um, after I figure out how to open it. Um, like, I just opened it. Oh, there it is. Ha, I am smarter than the bag. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. Anyway, um, I should do a video or something to show you guys how, some of the ways that I do the stamps or use the stamps. Instead of just, like, on envelopes, obviously. Because that's kind of a given on envelopes, though. But you can use them in so many different ways. Pretty much any way that you can use stickers, you can use stamps. Any way that you can use regular paper, you can use stamps. That is so cool. Okay, so these are... Oh, these are eyelash trims. Oh, my gosh. I love these bags. Her bags are way nicer than my bags. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Oh man. Oh, and it's so soft. 
Where's the end? I have no idea, but oh, that is so, oh, it's in my hand. Oh, it is so soft. You just want to pet it. You know, just like I'm petting it right now. Oh, that is so awesome. Can I just like pet it for the next 20 minutes? Because that would be so cool. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two. Ah! <laughs> oh, how neat. I remember these. Like I said, it's been a minute, so I forgot. I actually helped her with this sale. <laughs> I helped moderate the sale. Um, and that's why it's funny that I forgot, because um, I was... <laughs> I was the one there helping her. Um, so for those of you who may be new to the channel or may not know, um, we often do live sales through YouTube. And that's one of the ways that you can purchase uh, some craft materials. There are people that do de-stash. Um, I will eventually do de-stash boxes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them in a live sale. Or if I'm going to just do a couple videos, you know, and do it like that. But anyway, there are several ways for you to get craft, mater craft materials and supplies for very inexpensive. Um, just do a, do a quick Google search for craft D-stash. And oh my gosh, you're going to end up with so much. It is crazy. Okay, so I've been looking at these trying to remember what they were. But I think they're checks. And that is, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay. So, let me zoom you out. Oh, wait, I have to open my camera first. Because I closed my camera so I could open OBS. Zoom out, zoom out. Zoom out again. All right. Look at that. Like, I still can't even get... There we go. That's crazy. That's really cool. I like these. I don't know how old they are. Um, I don't know if I would be able to scan these or not. I mean, they're, they're pretty old, but I don't know what the... Um, I don't know what the copyright rules are for Canada. Because these all came from Canada. Specifically Nova Scotia, which is amazing by the way i love the fact that i get to say that this came from nova scotia you have no idea i'm a i'm a kid i swear i'm just a little kid um so there's one two three there's four pages of this isn't that awesome oh i love it so i just want to say um i am so sorry that it was completely blanked my mind to check my personal mailbox but I will try to remember to be more vigilant with checking the mailbox I'll need y'all's help though y'all have to remind me check your mailbox Tasha okay I'm sorry hey Natasha did you check your mailbox today no I didn't but let me go do that right now because it's really like three minutes down my house which is are down the road from my house which is why I got it because it was so close um so I just need to actually go and do it but yeah these are really really cool and if you guys are interested I will figure out something to do with them and then I'll make a video with that as well um, so maybe if you find like an old um, vintage checkbook at like a thrift store or an estate sale and you're like oh my god that's so cool what do I do with it yeah um, we'll figure out something to do with it because that would be really fun so anyway um, yeah, again, my bad. I didn't check the personal mailbox. So, oops. But, good news, it wasn't lost. And you don't have to remake it, which is absolutely great. Because uh, this one was perfect. Um, and you need to, like, stay. There we go. Oh, well, that's glary. There we go. Well, now my dragon's glary. There. Don't mind the mess over here. Just, you know, let's just pretend it's not there. And we'll, you know, put everything. And don't pay attention to that either. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's my art desk. I mean, what can I say? Um, I'm sure it looks like y'all's. Unless, of course, y'all have like super duper neat and tidy desks. In that case, my desk looks like a hoarder's dream. Um, but yeah, anyway. So this was the package from Miss Louise Frazier that has been long awaited and absolutely beautiful. And also the Christmas card from Miss Christy Bettleston. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these guys. And like I said, I will try to remember to check the personal mailbox a little bit more often. So just uh, kind of help me, help me out with that, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I shall see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. So thank you, and bye!